Hello everyone, this is James from EOT Pro. This video will show you how to download and install the EOT Pro indicators. So you should receive an email from Glenn that looks just like this. This email will contain all the files that you will need to install your indicators. Uh, the first thing we want to do is download the file, so we're going to click on this big link uh, named Download File. Okay, once we click on that link, this window should pop up. It contains four files. The uh, first file is the EOT Ninja Indicator zip file. This zip file contains the indicators for Ninja. Uh, the second file is a Word document with instructions on how to install the indicators. You probably won't need that since you're listening to this video. The third is the NSEP FAQ, also known as Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, if you have any questions about NSEP, that might contain the answer for you. And the fourth is the NSEP2 data file. This contains all the data that NSEP needs for its neural network. The ones that you will need to download and install are the first, um, the EOT Ninja Indicator zip file, and the data.exe file. So to download the zip file, click on the big green link called download. And it's going to ask you, do you want to open or save the file? We want to save it. And I'm going to save mine to my downloads folder. Um, depending on your browser, it may or may not ask you where you want to download it. Uh, the default will probably be the download folder. So go ahead and click on it there and click Save. Oh yeah, once the file saved, we can close that and then download the NSEP2 data version. So I'm going to click on the big green download button again next to this file. And then it's going to ask you once again, do you want to run it or save it? We want to save it. And I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. I'm going to click Save. Yeah, now it's done downloading. I can close this out. Um, we've downloaded both important items, the zip file and the .exe. So now we can close out our email here. And then we can open up NinjaTrader. Okay, now that Ninja is open, we can go ahead and remove any old indicators that we might have. Uh, this uh, important step. So to do that, go to File, Utilities, Remove Ninja Script Assembly. And here's my old indicator set. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and highlight it and then click Remove. It's going to ask me, do I want to remove it? Yes. Okay. Assembly has been removed successfully. Click OK. Uh, make sure that there's no more Ninja Script assemblies to be removed. If there are, go ahead and keep removing any indicators that you might have. Okay, we could close this out now. And now um, we're going to import the new indicators. But before we do that, uh, make sure that you restart Ninja Trader. A lot of people miss this step and they get errors because of it. So first thing we want to do is remove, or I mean restart NinjaTrader. So we're going to go to File, then Exit. It's going to ask us, do we want to save the workspace? Uh, that's kind of irrelevant at this point, so I'm just going to say yes. Okay, once NinjaTrader is closed, shut down, I'm going to go ahead and reopen it. Okay, once it's open, we're going to import the new indicators by going to File, Utilities, Import Ninja Script. Okay, do we want to import or are we a trusted source? I hope so, so let's click Yes. All right, now we need to locate where we downloaded that indicator zip file. Uh, for most of you, it should be in your downloads folder. So on the left, you should have a folder named downloads. Click on that. And here it is. 
the EOT Ninja indicator zip file. Some of you it might be on your desktop, so you could click on desktop, but wherever you saved it, that's where it's going to be. Okay, so we're going to click, once we have it highlighted, we click open. Okay, it says um, the indicators were imported successfully. Great, click OK. And that is it for the indicators. The next thing we want to do is install the data for NSEP. And to do this, um, we're going to need to locate the file. Uh, you could go, if it's in your downloads folder, you can go to start and then go to your username. Um, mine set as John, so I'm going to click on that. That's his computer I'm using right now. And then um, you'll see all your folders. Here's the downloads folder. And there is the file that we downloaded, NCEP2 data version 4. So once we found that file, go ahead and double click on it. It's going to ask, it's going to try and run. So go ahead and say run. And we'll get a pop-up. NCEP has updated, updated successfully. So that means that everything is installed correctly. So we could hit OK. And that is it. Um, the next thing you will want to do now that the indicators are installed and the data is installed is import Bill's workspace. Um, I'll post another video for that. I'll put the link somewhere on the top and it'll also be on the side of the YouTube window. So a link should be popping up right now, telling, giving you directions to install the workspace. Thank you.